Hey everybody, it's Adi from GameStorm, and this is part two of the Dazzle Capture Card setup. Uh, I will be showing you how I capture my Dazzle on Windows 7. It's a very tricky operation, and uh, I was going to show you how I use Sony Vegas to upload to YouTube with the best settings and all that, but uh, I will wait for another video to show you all the uh, settings I use for that. Um, so let's get started. First off, the Dazzle, when packaged, was ready for Windows XP. Um, there is patches for Vista, but as you probably know, if you've tried to look for it, there's not any patches for Windows 7. In my opinion, that's kind of uh, stupid. I don't know why they would do that or haven't you know made a patch for it yet, but uh, whatever. All right, so I'm just going to go. I've already pulled up the Pinnacle Systems website, and I went to the download section right here. Um, you can see that there's patches for, like, the studios, which comes with the Dazzle. There's the uh, the studio, and then there's the instant DVD recorder. I use the instant DVD recorder. Um, I've, I've tried to use the studio. I used to use it, but I found that the uh, instant DVD recorder was better. Here's the drivers for the actual capture card um, and then the patch for the instant DVD recorder right here for Vista. One thing you can do if you have Windows 7 Premium or Ultimate or whatever it's called like the ones above basic uh, if you go to start and you can search for it, you can search for XP mode it should have an XP mode um, but because I don't have I'll just show you right now um, system properties I've got home premium, but it doesn't come with Windows XP mode. I'm going to go down here and search for XP mode. See Windows Virtual PC, and it says Windows XP mode. You hit it. Oh, but there's an error. It says it's not available in this edition of Windows, so you have to upgrade your Windows 7 if you want XP mode. Well, it's stupid in my opinion why not just give it to us so <laughs> in order to make this work if you if you notice I'll uh, open up the DVD recorder I have it on here and I've got my capture card uh, plugged in right now USB I've got my GameCube hooked up to it and everything alright uh, if you notice go over here to the selected capture source click on it, it takes a second um, as you can see it has my webcam the manicam but doesn't have the dazzle hmm so you basically have to use XP mode but I don't have it so I had to actually go online and figure out how to make XP mode um, it was a hassle I would not recommend it if I were you, if you have Windows 7 and you're trying to capture, there's other capture, well, there's other ways to capture stuff. The Dazzle only captures in you know 480p, which is high quality, but it doesn't capture in HD. Now there's HD gaming all the time. Here pretty soon we will be probably getting the uh, Hopage HD PVR, which is actually HD. I've looked at the Roxio game capture kit which is supposedly HD it's got the component cables but it only records in 480p so you can watch your games in HD on the TV but you can't record in HD which I thought was kinda stupid so uh, basically if you have Windows 7 and you're trying to use the Dazzle I, I would not unless you really want to go through the hassle of uh, getting XP mode if you have another computer that's running XP or Vista then you know you could use that transfer it over to the computer they're actually using to edit and all that good stuff but um anyways the one I installed the XP mode I'll just go to it just so you can see it uh, instead of XP mode I go Windows Virtual PC and then right here it has XP mode just double click on that and get rid of this and it takes a second to start up okay and you're supposed to log in just like you normally would so I log in but as an error what I ended up having to do was it would never start up correctly it always did this so I had to um, when I was making this XP mode uh, go back in and basically 
do it over, not the whole thing, but just a few like patches and all of this. And went in to the XP mode whenever I got it started. It always starts up the first time, but then after that it never worked. Um, went in and just made a nether user. So instead of Audi, I put Audi 2, which is the one I created, and then log in and it'll work fine. Which, no idea why. It's kind of stupid. Okay, and I'll just maximize this so you can see it. Comes up with this little thing. Blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so here's the DVD recorder. I'm going to open that. And I'm going to go to my Dazzle. But, oh, where is it? It's not there either. Huh. If you go up here, though, to the top says Action USB, all this good stuff. Hit on USB, and you can see it says DVC 170. This is attach, so you hit that. It'll make a noise. It'll attach it and take a second to either it's got to install it or it'll just take a second to pop up sometimes. Um, if I look now, it should be on there. Oh, and there it is. So I'm going to click it. You should see over here that it's going to change to my GameCube. Yeah, there it is. And I'll move it up, all that good stuff, so you can see that it's working. Turn the volume down. Now, you always want to turn the volume down when you're recording something because then you'll have, like, echo. So, uh, now let's get into the nitty-gritty of how I actually record stuff. Basically, it's really easy with the DVD recorder. You just uh, choose where you want to save it. So, uh, you know, you can save it in this XP mode or you can save it. Uh, I have an external hard drive, which I would have to attach right here, but I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll just save it to uh, the desktop, I guess. So I hit on desktop. It says, would you like your DVD to include menus? Hit no. Um, it's going to have minutes of recording time. It only goes up to 130. I just put it on 100. Um, and then I put select video quality. Well, of course, if you want the best settings, you're going to hit best. And then you hit start record. And I'll move this around a little bit on the screen, so it'll have something that it's recording, I guess. Okay, then I'll just stop it, and it'll take a second. And then it says, done, your disk is ready, just hit exit. And then what it's going to do is going to create a video TS folder right here. Yeah, open it. Now, it's going to have a bunch of different files in it. The file you're looking for is going to be the biggest one in there, pretty much. It's going to be a VOB file, a .VOB. So, usually there's two different ones. There's this one, which is just video underscore TS .VOB, and then there's VTS 011, and that's the one you want, because if you see the file size, it's 4.26 gig or megs. So, it's the biggest one. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my other, on uh, the Windows 7. So I'm just going to copy it, minimize my XP mode, and I'll just like paste it right here. And there it is. Now, if I were to open it with the VLC Media Player, you should see that it worked. And there it is. So there it is, right there. And then all you gotta do is just rename it to whatever you want. And use whatever editing software you're gonna use. You know, I use Sony Vegas Pro 10. Uh, you could use Movie Maker, just whatever. I mean, it really, really doesn't matter uh, as long as you use the good settings. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you what settings I use to get the best quality for YouTube. Um, the research I've done on YouTube, what file formats it uses, all that good stuff. Uh, anyways, this is Adi for GameStorm. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time.